so we had a crisis today and no I didn't get it on film because I was more into uh, holding Emery holding her hands and comforting her Emery's at Port Witten Access three different times to access her and each time as soon as we accessed her even with the ultrasound on the end her blood backed up into the line and, and started pouring out um, so it's not the ultrasound which is a little filter on the end with the nurse being here she feels that it's a clot that Emory has a, a clot blocking her port because we couldn't get an access we couldn't get anything to push through we couldn't get accurate blood return I mean there was blood backing up in it but it was more of a liquidy translucent thin thinned out type of blood it wasn't the thick rigid blood that you would look for plus there was a lot of air coming out which indicates that there it's it's going through something so three hours later after contacting her pediatrician we are headed to the hospital to see if it's a, if it is a true clot and if it is a clot to get some kind of clot buster in there to dissolve the clot because even though it's a port it's still threaded into her heart and having any kind of blood clot or um, air trapped kind of clot like that is extremely dangerous so the hospital that we're going to isn't one that she normally goes to for a crisis situation it's one that she went to for her strictly for her infusions before we moved to home infusion and it's like 15 minutes from our house her crisis hospital is, a, is about an hour away so we chose to go back to um, the one that she used to get her infusions at just for um, you know availability and time wise from the house so we're headed there now It's been two hours and the IV team administered calf flow and after him forcing it in we waited two hours and no luck. The um, nurse is calling her pediatrician's office to see where to go from here whether we go straight and be admitted to her hospital or if we can go home and hopefully get in to see somebody tomorrow because she needs her infusions she can't really skip them and if something were to happen like a crisis situation or say because of all the stress of today she had a mitochondrial crash we'd have no way of getting fluids in her we'd have no way of administering any kind of emergency IV meds or TPN or anything of that nature so it's it were it may to some people not seem important it's very important to her so I'm hoping that we can get this resolved quickly maybe they can do um, a CAT scan or something and see if there's a blockage but it's not doing anything. It's not flushing, it's not giving blood return um, and it's, I mean we've accessed her four times now and all four times it's the same thing and it's three different people accessing her um, to make sure that the, you know, maybe one's touch is the golden touch where another person's is not and it's it's not the needle, it's not the equipment, it's not the filters or the syringes, it's her central line. So we're waiting to hear back from the nurse and see where we go from here. And of course, you can see it on Miss Emery's face. She's been crying and upset. It's been a rough day today, and I can tell her lactic acids are up. Um, she emits an odor when they get high, and they're, they're strong. So... Um, Without the D10, that's not going to come down. It's only going to continue to rise. And the higher her lactic acid gets, the more of a dangerous situation it is because it, it could potentially take her life. So just say prayers for us that we can get this situated and resolved and get her back on her schedule. We are home now, and unfortunately, it has been determined that Emery's port is done. So the nurse called and spoke with her pediatrician who is getting in touch with the surgeon tomorrow to see how fast we can get her in to get her port replaced. It's not really, I would say, an emergency, but it's more of a time-sensitive pressing matter, you know, high priority, because she has to have her fluids and 
medications and TPN if needed, especially if she goes in crisis. So all we can do now is wait and see what the surgeon says tomorrow. With that being said, we're going to say goodnight for tonight. We're all tired and exhausted. But I do have to get her go bag ready um, in case he can fit her in for surgery tomorrow. So if you want to see what's in Emery's go bag and everything about her go bag and what we take with us, comment below and I'll do a special video sometime in the next few weeks showing you what's in her go bag, how we pack, how we prepare, how much medication we take with us, and what supplies are in her bag. So we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night.